So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at how to do a screenshot and turn that in for your assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my daughter's computer again. Hopefully she's not getting upset about me using it all the time. I'm going to share the screen. Here we go. All right, so her screen should be shared. All right, we're coming up so I can look at my screen again. All right, now what's going to happen is when you get there, let's say you're already in your math course. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and take a look at the current week that we're in. And I'm going to just take a look at today's Monday's independent work. So when we look at the directions for this, it says, you know, our goal is we're looking at some of the virtual manipulatives. OK, so virtual manipulatives. So what it says your ultimate goal is get comfortable using those because I'm going to expect you to use them. But also the second goal on there is learn how to take a screenshot and turn that in. So make sure that you've either heard me say this or you're watching this video now or you hear me in person. OK, so what she would do is she would go ahead and she would take a look and she's going to use some of those virtual manipulatives. There's three links there, so maybe she uses the toy theater ones. OK, so toy theater. She takes a look at it. She finds ones that she wants to use. Knowing my daughter, she probably liked the geo board the best. OK, so she might play around to see how to use the geo board on this program. Now she can use this for a little while if she would like to just to get used to it, and then she can try one of the other virtual manipulatives. She can do it however she wants. For our goal here is for you not to watch for 20 minutes is I want you guys to see how to do the screenshot now. OK, so for the screenshot, notice I moved over to these top three buttons over here. So I'm going to hit those top three buttons. I'm going to go down to more tools and then I'm going to go over to take a screenshot. So I hit take a screenshot. OK, right there it says the screenshot. I can see it in the folder in my folder or I can copy it to my clipboard. Uh, me personally, I'm just going to see it in the folder because I like to know where it is. Uh, if I want to just put it on a Google Doc and just make a copy of it, uh, I'd use the other function. But taking a look, it already highlighted. Now the tricky part about this is she has other screenshots because I practiced this other times in here and they didn't necessarily have a name set. So I need to know that I just did it. It's already highlighted and it has the date right there. August 14th at 8.35 a.m., whereas the other ones are on other days. So that's the one that I had just done. Now I'm going to go back okay, to our original home page. So taking a look at this, for any of these types of assignments that you see on Canvas, there's almost always going to be a submit assignment button. When you hit that, you're not actually submitting it yet. That's one thing that confuses some people. So when I hit it, it's taking me to the spot where I'm going to submit it. OK, so I'm trying to do today um, a submission of a screenshot. So for that, OK, I am going to go ahead and use. I can do file upload and I can go to choose file. Now when I go to choose file, there's my screenshot. Now some of you when you get this, it might not show it and it might still just be on the actual name like this. OK, this little button up here at the top that I'm highlighting uh, that changes it to show you the image of it, a little thumbnail of it. It makes it a little easier and faster so I can go through and say, all right, that was the one I just did. I want to click on that and I can see right here it says that it's done and set. So I have proof of the work that I did today because the assignment was to take a screenshot of what you did in your virtual work. I, I don't need to turn in 10 of these. One of these will do so I can just go down and now when I hit submit assignment, now I actually am turning it in. OK, now it gives me my little celebration because I did such a great job. Now if I needed to resubmit it, if I accidentally did it or I did something wrong, this is an assignment where I have it set that you can turn it in as many times as you want to. It's not a big deal. So if you made some sort of mistake or you wanted to show something else, you can hit the resubmit 
assignment button and you can go through and you can do it a different way. So maybe I would want to do a Google Doc or something else. Now, the nice thing about the Chromebooks that the computer or that the school gives you is that when I saved that document, it actually saved as a Google Doc already on her computer. So I can already see it's right there. So I could have just turned it in as a Google Doc. So I just highlighted the one I just did and then I can submit it that way. So there are a couple of different ways of doing this where you can submit your screenshot, uh, but that is something that in math and science class you're going to have to be able to do often. So it's something to practice out today. So please make sure use the uh, virtual manipulatives. They're really important and for kids who don't like using manipulatives, you'd like to do things in your head or on a piece of paper. That's not always going to be a choice in fifth grade. You're going to need to be able to have references something to look at so get in the habit of it's okay to use a manipulative and since you're at home and don't have all of them virtual manipulatives are a good alternative to concrete ones in your hands and then definitely by the end of today i need you to make sure that you know how to submit a screenshot that's something that's going to come up often all right i hope this has been helpful and i will see you later